Hey everyone, this is Dances with Rain. I am out here in the beautiful sunlight, just taking some of it in. And uh, I figured that while I was here taking in this beautiful energy that I'd um, make a video on it and just talk a little bit about everyday protection and everyday cleaning. I'm going to try to speak up for you guys because I know there's a lot of um, background noise because I live in the city and uh, hopefully you guys can see me well and it's not too sunny. Sun is kind of heating up my laptop here so I'll try to make this uh, not too long. Okay so everyday protection. Every day we're coming in contact with people. Every day we're coming in contact with energies and you know places carry energies. Places can become vortexes and people carry energies, whether they are your lovers, your friends, your families, just acquaintances, co-workers. When you see a person, you know a person, you talk to a person, you connect with a person, you don't only just do that mentally or verbally, you also do it spiritually. Um, there's a cord that extends out from where the sacral chakra is. Ooh, it's okay. There's a cord that extends out from where the sacral chakra is and um, goes and connects to the sacral chakra of the person that you are with. So that's why like if you break up with a person they say things like you need to break the cord. That's the cord that they are talking about. It's a, sorry, it's actually not the sacral chakra, it's the solar plexus chakra because it's like a cord from your navel where your umbil umbilical cord used to be. So um, after being in contact with certain people, if people have you know, kind of uh, polluted energies, it's always good for you to cleanse yourself. Whether, and it's not as if it's a diss to that person, really what it is is self-protection. Because you have to remember that being in the practice you are, um, constantly raising your energy vibrations and not everyone has the same energy vibration as you so you in order to keep your energy vibrations up there and high and elevated you have to make sure that it doesn't get muckied and gucked up and you know polluted by someone else's energies who might not be on the same um, spiritual plane as you so um, and, and, and just you try to make this you should try to make it a daily practice um, you know cleansing your body because when you are like that cleansing your spirit you connect more you connect to the universe easier and it's easier for you to receive the messages that the universe has for you um if you don't have all this other stuff staticking up your <coughs> your channels then the messages from deity can come to you way faster and clearer as well as messages from your ancestors and your spiritual guides and also from your own spirit so me personally i try to put cleansing into my life every single day um i will have something that just reminds me of my spirituality and or that has soothing or cleansing effects a lot of it you can wear like jewelry with symbols on it um like here i have this um necklace that I showed in a previous video and it's full of um, crystals and it is a chakra balancing necklace you know if you have items like these um, stones and crystals um, you charge them up you say a prayer over it and then you wear it um, your body is the, the greatest tool um, but these things do help uh, boost the energy so you have items like that it could be something as simple as water when you take your shower in the morning you know bring a candle into the shower maybe include some herbs or some um, bath salts and you know say a prayer and put the make a mixture with the water in your bath salts and you dump that over your body and you cleanse your body um, every morning or maybe every night when you come home for work or when you come from being around um, people you know people just people in general and uh, you want to just kind of cleanse yourself and then um, invigorate yourself and get back to where you were energy wise um, something as simple as this right now stand sitting outside in the daylight or sitting outside in the moonlight if you prefer both the Sun sorry my computer is so hot <laughs> both the Sun and the moon um, both the Sun and the moon uh, give off 
energies and they give off their own energies the moon being more receptive and the sun being more projective so um you can take in those energies and kind of just feel the pour down through your body and cleanse you and, and, and charge you it's like um charging up a battery since you are connected to the universe you can charge up your light you are a light being and you can charge up your spirit you can charge up your light with the light from those um <coughs> solar planets okay with the light from the solar planet and the lunar planet and uh, so we said moonlight sunlight there's also the ocean if you live by a beach you know you can take a walk along the ocean stand in the water rinse your hands in the water the ocean is very cleansing um, and it has its own natural sea salt in it it's a mixture of sea salt and water um, you can take a walk in the forest and stick your feet into the dirt and just let ground yourself in dirt um, in the earth and release energies there and also take in energies if there are any oak trees nearby you can place your hand on an oak tree and take in the energy from the oak tree the oak trees are very old and oak trees are very wise and they can take your problems and also listen um, the native tribes called the oak trees the standing people so um, they are very energetic beings trees um, just the winds you can just stand somewhere where there is the wind or breeze and let that wash over you and um, invigorate you and charge you and cleanse your body in the same exact way um, that you will let water do it um, you know visualization you can just visualize yourself being cleaned with the white light around you or <clears throat> gold light around you it's basically what that does is um, strengthen your aura and help you to remove any blockages so using your own spirit you can spiritually um, cleanse yourself um, of course that takes practice so that would be something that you would want to practice in exercises you can also smudge um, with herbs um, and you know instances or sage um, and do things like um, if you don't have time for smudging every day or you don't have time if you if you try to make like time for like a 15 to 30 minute walk where you can go outside and connect with the energies so if you don't have time for that you can do something simple like the crystals mentioned or you can um, try something as simple as having a holy oil and anointing yourself with it anointing yourself for protection against other people's um, energies or any other harmful energies because um, a lot of times we don't realize it but there are people who feed off of energies there are people who send out energies um, that are like attacks because of whatever it is they're feeling they might do it um, subconsciously and some do it consciously um, you know whether it's jealousy or envy um, that they that they have and so they might put that out there towards you or they might feed off of things like attention so they might do try to do things um, to get your attention or you know to make you react a certain way so that they can feed off of those energies um, so you just want to make sure that you are constantly protecting yourself from things like that and constantly cleansing yourself from things like that. And I have to say that in this current society, it's very prevalent because of oh, the way that the society is. Um, a lot of people are just taught, you know, to be for oneself. And, and it's, it's not really about community, it's not really about unity, and uh, it's all about, you know, getting to the top of the ladder, so you have a lot of, um, you don't have a lot of camaraderie amongst people, it's just a lot of competition, and then that breeds a lot of negative energies, so, um, you know, you just want to make sure that you don't get caught up in that, and that you don't get sucked into the cesspool, and that you keep yourself on the higher plane that you are constantly tra striving to be on. Um, and you know just taking the time out to do these things you know everyday charms you know I also carry um, what I call mojo bags or Egyptians call it pachikil carry those um, that you can make with like charms and uh, wear on your body carry them in your purse um, you know a prayer anoint yourself with oil um, you know uh, you know like I said take some time out outside spend some time in the daylight and it could be as simple as just lighting a candle and taking five minutes to meditate um, and I just I think it's important to try to keep those 
walls up and the energy walls of protection up so that you are not harmed and your energy body is not harmed and um, your spirit body is not harmed. Um, and you just have to try to find ways where you can do that every day. So I pretty much, that's pretty much it for now. I think I'm going to end the video here um, and maybe come back to you with some more videos on some more topics of it later, but my computer is kind of heating up. So um, I hope everybody is doing well and um, to everyone, love and light, blessings, peace.